Your next video idea could be the one that blows up your channel and changes your life forever. But imagine losing that idea and never getting to make that video. What if I told you with just a single tap on your iPhone screen, you could just speak into your phone and get an Apple Note created that not only has the title of the video idea, but also a rating percentage to help you decide if the video might be worth making and an initial video outline idea for you to get started with. And the best part, this is all free. Let me show you how. To get started, the first thing to do is make sure that your iPhone is up to date and then go and install the Chat GPT app. We're gonna be using this for the AI component. Once you've installed the app, you're gonna to want to open it up and then go and sign in with your Chat GPT login details. Once you've signed in, you can go and close the Chat GPT app. To make this all work, we're going to be using Apple Shortcuts and this is built right in to your iPhone. Swipe down and search for shortcuts and then tap at the top right to create a new shortcut. If you tap at the top, you can go and rename this and we're actually going to go and create two shortcuts to make this all work and I'll explain why later. We're gonna call this first shortcut part two and tap done. We now need to add some actions to this shortcut. The first action we want to search for is record audio. We're gonna add that and you can tap this little triangle to give you these options. We're gonna leave the audio quality on normal, but we're gonna change the start recording mode from on tap to immediately. We're gonna leave finish recording set as on tap so we know when to stop the recording. The next action we're going to add is going to be the transcribe audio action. Tap on that, long press on audio file, and then choose recorded audio. What this is going to do, it's going to take the speech that we spoke into the phone and it's going to turn that into text. Next, we're going to search for ChatGPT and we're going to use the Ask ChatGPT action. Tap on that, long press on message and choose transcribed audio. That's going to take the text version of what we spoke and feed it in to chat GPT. But we need to give chat GPT a bit of a better prompt here. I'm just going to go and copy and paste this prompt and I'll put this one for free in this video's description. And what we're doing here is we're asking chat GPT to give us a percentage of how it popular it thinks the video idea might be, followed by a summary of the idea. And because we want the title to show up in Apple Notes in the format that we want, I've asked chat GPT to give us the title and also that percentage in the very first line of its output. And you'll see why in a second. So let's just copy that. Now we want that prompt to appear before the text that's been transcribed. And for some reason, this can be a bit tricky sometimes to actually get it activated, but essentially you wanna tap here, move this before, and then paste in that prompt. Let's clean that up. And now your Ask GPT action should look like this. So now we've asked ChatGPT to process that transcribed audio. We're gonna go and add another action. This is gonna be a notes action, and we're gonna choose create note. We'll choose the folder that we want our idea to go into. This is my video ideas folder. And for the contents, long press and choose ask ChatGPT. So the text that ChatGPT outputs will be fed into this new note in the video's idea folder. Tap done, and that's the first part of this process complete. We now need to go and add the next shortcut. So this is a bit of secret sauce. If you try and do everything we're trying to do here in a single shortcut, sometimes the Ask Chat GPT action gives you an odd message. Sometimes it might just not do anything. Sometimes it might ask you to log in even if you're already logged in. Tap plus to add a new shortcut and we're going to rename this shortcut part one. I know, not very imaginative. You can go and call this whatever you want. In the search actions, we're going to search for open app, tap on app, and then choose ChatGPT. This is going to make sure that the ChatGPT app is open and this is gonna help prevent errors when the shortcut is running. We're going to add a new action by searching for actions. Once again, this is going to be the ChatGPT action and this is going to be start conversation with ChatGPT. The final action in this part one shortcut, if you search for run and choose run shortcut, tap on the shortcut part and then you want to run our part two that we just created and then tap done. 
So now whenever you want to capture a new video idea, you can just run part one. So you can open up the shortcuts app and tap it, but it's much nicer if you go and create a widget or shortcut for it. You can do this in your home screen or your today view. I'm going to long press, tap edit, tap add widget, search for shortcuts, tap add widget, tap on this new widget that we just added, and then choose which shortcut that we want to run. In our case, it's going to be this part one shortcut, and then just tap off it and tap off again. Let me show you this thing in action. Now let's say I'm out and about and I had an idea pop into my head about teaching people how to use a motorized slider to get cinematic looking videos when they're filming solo. I'm just gonna tap on part one and then speak my idea. We need to allow the shortcut to run. So I've got this idea about teaching people how to use a motorized slider when they're filming all by themselves so they can add some cinematic movement to their YouTube videos. Tap the screen to finish and then let the shortcut run. You can see the little progress wheel there. And in just a second, we should get a brand new note created. You can see that we've got this box pop up. I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. Tap done, tap always allow to let this shortcut run. And now we've got this brand new note added in the video ideas folder. That's the one we specified. For the title, we've got a percentage showing us how much ChatGPT thinks this is a good idea to make this video, 78%. And at the top line, we've got a suggested title, solo filming with a motorized slider, easy cinematic moves for YouTuber. And we've got this entire video outline that we can use to start to flesh out the idea. If you want to streamline this a little bit, head back to shortcuts, tap on part two, and down here in the Ask Chat GPT action, you want to disable this show when run, and that means you won't get that extra pop-up box. It'll just go and create the Apple Note automatically. If you don't want the Apple Note to pop up, once it's been created, tap on this little triangle, and then disable open when run, and then everything will happen kind of in the background once it's finished at least. But I quite like having this thing on because it gives me a confirmation that the idea has actually been recorded. This channel is all about making better looking, better sounding and better edited videos. If that's something that's going to benefit you, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it because I want to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let me know your Apple productivity tips in the comments and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.